Now, Sydney and Rukus will show you the foot chart game. Plane position. Rest position. Plane position. Rest position. Plane position. Rest position. Take a bow. One of our mottos is, with music, everything is easier. I would like to describe what is important to me in the context of these videos. In the first video, we saw the foot chart game. The main focus is, of course, learning the foot positions. Young children need to find their feet on the foot chart many times. With a musical accompaniment, this exercise is much more fun. But there are also many other very important aspects for me. Say hello. You say hi. And let's take a look at that. My goodness, that is so perfect. Okay, wiggle out. Okay. Great. Oh, I love how you relaxed your shoulder. And look at your hand. Count to three. One, two, three. Wonderful. In the second video, we saw how music helps to bring children into a relaxed and calm atmosphere. Especially when they learn the bow hold, many children immediately want to grab the bow. They often don't have the patience to shape their fingers on the bow grip carefully. So the purpose of the swan exercise is to keep the fingers soft relaxed and round and to feel the correct thumb position and to develop a physical memory for a relaxed bow hold. This is one very important point. We want them to internalize the body memory of a relaxed bow hold, a relaxed right arm and a relaxed shoulder. These early steps are the foundation for a skyscraper. We are building skills and technique that can last a lifetime. Dr. Suzuki believed that it took 10,000 repetitions of an action before it becomes a skill. And interesting enough, recent neurological research supports his intuition.